Oh, what's going on? My name is Johnny, and welcome to Fallout the Frontier. This is a DLC-sized mod that came out yesterday that literally broke the internet, and it broke Nexus in general. So I'm thinking we just jump up in here, make a character real quick, and go straight to the DLC, or mod. I keep saying DLC like an idiot. Mercenary pack items, absolutely. Give me all of this. Caravan pack. I'm gonna have a lot of this stuff come in because... I got the, uh, the Legendary Guilty Edition on the through. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a character, and I'll see you guys in just one moment. Alrighty. Welcome to allow you to progress to the frontier much faster. We offer a quick start option that allows you to pick your level and get right on to the action. If you'd like to use the quick start option, yes, let's go ahead and quick start it. Uh, the front star, uh, frontier starts at level 11, so we offer a few options between there. Let's do level 12. <clears throat> Uh, let me assemble my skill points. Yes. We have 204. My god. I say we get the lockpick all the way up to... 100. I feel like 100. Let's go to 50 on this one. Actually, let's go to 55. Uh, let's go to 50 on the repair just so we have something... You know, inside here, just in case our <clears throat> our guns break. Um, I think a hundred will do great on speech. That way, when we get into the DLC, I keep saying DLC. Listen here, it's mod. It's a mod. Okay, get it right. It's a mod. So, but once we get into the mod, um, we can actually do most of the uh, skill um, speech passes words. Hey, let's put a bunch in the barter just in case we want to sell items. That might might do us handy, just in case we want to get some caps. Let's go to 40 on that. Um, everything else is really not too important. Let's go to guns. Let's bring this down to 20. And let's bring this up to... Any weapon that uses a con conventional ammunition. Let's go to 30 on this. Ah, let's go to 40. Let's go to 35. I'll put the rest of the two in here. Okay. Bada bing. Um, let's see here. Get an additional 10% to total experiments, or experience words. Go ahead and use that as well. Uh, let's do speech. I don't... Mm, if you're putting on, like, the need to... Uh, no. Uh, I'm gonna go through the NCR. You can now begin the frontier proper. Please wait a few in-game hours, and either intern John or the suspicious or sus suspicious courier will greet you. You can then immediately travel to the frontier NCR camp. Okay, let's go ahead and go ahead and wait a little bit. Let's go to like let's go ten hours, and uh, we'll go from there. So we made a, we went we made a make a character, and we put all our points in, etc. etc. So we're gonna go straight into the mod, and then hey, from what I, I heard, for a second about something? hold on a second. You see, I've been watching you. Scouting you is probably a better term. I guess what I'm saying is that you look very capable in a fight, and we need people like you. I'm with the Frontier NCR. Here's a brochure. Read the pamphlet and come visit us, north of Westside. Please be discreet. There's a reason we're using pamphlets instead of radio signal. Well, the rest is in the pamphlet. Remember, be quiet about this. Wait, who are you? What is this about? Just read the pamphlet. Gotta go, man. Oliver has eyes everywhere. Stay frosty. Okay. Gunrunner's Arsenal, got that, that's the thing from the DLC. Let's go ahead and look at this pamphlet, shall we? Brochure. When the world cries for a hero, the Frontier NCR answers the call. Welcome to the Frontier NCR, a powerful presence in the old Northwestern, Northwestern Commonwealth. You'll be joining a courageous, highly skilled organization, one who stands as the last and best defense against the tribulations of the Waste, from combating raiders and radiation-borne abominations to humanitarian rescue missions. Fly a vertebrate, drive a tank. What are you waiting for? Whether you're speaking or seeking adventure, personal fulfillment, or simply searching for a new start, the Frontier Ed CR is where you'll find an unrivaled training, fraternity, and incomparable experience. All right. All right, let's go ahead and make that into the army, and then we'll go over to that map, and let's go ahead and fast travel up to the NCR camp. So this mod, it adds like 160 new weapons, 300 and like... 50, I think, armor pieces, over 35 hours of main quest, like 30 or so hours side questing, 
um, fully voice acted, and it's even got like a cinematic features as well for like cutscenes and stuff like that. So this game actually, or this mod actually, does add a lot. So I'm excited to actually just join up in here. Oh, you have hold it right there, stranger. State your name and business. Uh, my name is Johnny, but I'm also known as a courier. What are you guys doing out here? Really? Ain't you that courier fella? <laughs> hey, Quinn. Ain't that useless jester head in Baker Company calling himself the courier? Has a scar on his dome too? Yeah, I told everyone when he was famous or something. Well, I will literally Last time I checked, the only beat thing the crap out of was scrubbing the floors. <laughs> oh, 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 so let me guess. Oh, he's so funny. You're the real courier? Yes, I'm the real and only courier. You know, I'm the other courier who got shot in the head. <laughs> so you're the one who destroyed the Enclave? Uh, I, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, the chosen one. It doesn't matter. So, you're here to sign up for a tour of the frontier? Yeah. Yeah, sign me up. Mm, I'm a bit confused. If you're the interior, then why are you recruiting in such a discreet location? Then I hope you are prepared for all of the risks. The frontier is a very unforgiving environment. I understand. I'm ready. All right. Talk to Lieutenant Gray in the tent. He'll get you sorted. Okay, here we go. Yes? Yes? I want to join up. I want to sign up for the tour in the really? frontier. Well... I might just hit my daily quota after all. I'm curious. You're obviously not one of these brain-dead grunts. Or your typical merc. Why would you want to go to the frontier? Why fight for us? Sticking sunburn and sand where the sun don't shine. Fucking sick of the Mojave. Sounds like an adventure. It might be fun and all, but be forewarned. Reports indicate that the Legion's out there. Even if you haven't crossed paths with them, I'm sure you've heard stories about those savages. If you want to make sure you don't come back to the Mojave in a body bag, obey the rules. The Frontier's rules. Do that, and you might come home alive to collect your pay. 2,000 caps. Don't take this lightly. Before I'm making my mind, I need to know more about what I'm getting myself into. Fire away. Uh, figuratively, that is. Keep in mind that I can only provide information on a need-to-know basis. What can you tell about the commanding officer? What's this for the NCR more expansion? Or are you guys looking for something? What can I expect out there? Aside from freezing weather and a bunch of lunatics trying to carve you into pieces, not much. Just do as you're told. What else? Are you guys looking to expand? Well, to be clear... We're not really a part of the NCR anymore. We're exiles. We moved to the frontier to get away from the NCR and the Mojave. <clears throat> we chose to make camp in the frontier due to it being a pre-war city, rich with resources that we would like to make good use of. But, as of lately, we have been having trouble with the Legion who managed to organize the locals against us. That would be General Blackthorn. He was the one who led us to the frontier. I've known Blackthorn for quite some time. He's a top-notch tactician, and you'll never find a more dedicated soldier. But more importantly, he cares about his soldiers. He cares about them more than the NCR ever have. His men trust him, enough to follow him into hell. That's all I got for you now. So what do you say, soldier? Ready to give a good old-fashioned ass-kicking to the Frontier and the Legion? It's so clear, I'm not sending my life away. One tour means one tour, got it? I got it. The military life isn't for everyone. The sooner you take care of business there, the sooner you're back to your normal life here. Whatever that may be. If it takes three days, then congratulations. You've completed the shortest tour in NCR history. The brass just want this done. The sign-on contract is different from the ones we use for regular enlistees. Look it right. over. There aren't any clauses about desertion. <clears throat> just... Get the job done, get the caps. And it takes 10 years? If you waste our time, we'll waste yours. That's just how it is. So, what do you say, soldier? Ready to do the Frontier NCR proud? Okay, yep, bring the caps. Well, a soldier's a soldier. Now that you're working for the Frontier NCR, you're going to need a uniform. Long term or short term, brass demands that all troopers be geared with standard NCR equipment. It's supposed to promote order and 
unity or some kind of feel-good crap like that. Here, take this. Now, to our next prerogative. Which gun do you prefer? Okay, we got a sniper rifle, a shotgun, or a assault rifle. I think, uh, we're gonna do the assault rifle. A well-rounded weapon, that is. Johnny Gun Standard. Thank you, sir. You're all set. Hop onto the back of the transport truck when you're ready for the journey. It'll be a long trip, so be sure to bring all essentials. And remember, there won't be any return trips to the Mojave until your tour is completed. Okay. And the thing about this game is, or this, this mod, once we complete we can come back to the Mojave Wasteland, uh, or Mojave Desert, whatever, and we can actually go ahead and do the actual game, considering I haven't done that yet as a new character. What I'm thinking is, we go, we do this uh, mod, and then we come back at level whatever, with all of our equipment, and then we start fresh with a, with not, I wouldn't say a new character, I would say we start fresh right after the mod into the actual campaign. I'll add a lot of mods and uh, ENBs and things like that, and we'll do a full playthrough of this game. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, what is that? Is that a... Is that what I think that is? Oh, that's nasty. Okay, can I, um, FOV 90? Oh, much better. I'm gonna freaking throw up over here. Okay, so what do, what do I gotta do? I gotta get in the back of this truck, right? Oh, sit bench, got it. Okay, so do I need to put stuff on? What's my actual miss mission here? Get a seat in the back of the truck to start your journey. Um, let's go ahead of the items and the weapons, and I want to see what this gun is. Okay. Now, I get, like I said, this gun, th this game, or this mod adds so much stuff here. You need to sit down on the opposite bench. Okay. The frontier will take you to an extremely dangerous and challenging journey that takes place in a whole new area of the post-apocalyptic United States. It is strongly recommended to leave all companions behind before traveling to the frontier. As companions may interfere with the scripted scenes and the general flow of the frontier, new companions will be introduced throughout the course of the frontier and are scripted to flow with the gameplay. The frontier is recommended for experienced carriers level 20 plus. If you're up to the challenge, continue on. Exploration, loot, new creatures, vehicles, and an epic tale awaits. Um, let's do it. Um, in Mercury Mode, you will be able to take all items and equipment with you to the Frontier. Recommended for those that only care about story. In Soldier Mode, only your NCR standard issue gear will be allowed to be carried with you to the Frontier. All other gear will be removed and only returned to you once your business in the Frontier is finished. This is the way the Frontier is meant to be played. Oh, man. Ah, uh, me. Only NCR center issue gear will be allowed to take care of with you in the frontier. All other gear will be removed and only return to you once you are busy with the frontier. Let's do soldier mode. Let's do it. Let's do it the way it needs to be done. Because this is not like an, uh, an official thing. I don't want to do anything too crazy that'll interfere with stuff and make it more difficult. Plus, they're, they're giving us stuff anyway, so... We'll get all of our stuff later on. Sir, 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 sirs, sirs. Listen to me. You need to sit down. It's going to be a long trip to the frontier. I suppose I could help pass the time by telling our full story. If you're up for a long story, that is. Well, our story mostly began a few years ago, during Operation Sunburst. It was our mission to take Helios One from the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. But, uh, things are looking up for us. You could say looking... bright. Get it? I'm glad your marksmanship is better than your sense of humor, Prof. Maybe we should just send you down there to tell jokes. Maybe we'll delight you five minutes till they surrender. After fighting for five damn long years. If we win this fight, we get to go home. I've been dreaming of this day forever. Hey, Greg. What are you doing again after all this? To be honest, I figure I'll be better off just staying in the army. There really isn't anything. Only one for me back home. 
Ray, you're batshit crazy. But that's why we love you, man. Isn't Hardcase doing the same thing? Yep. He's going to stay in the NCR military. Uh, hey guy, what are you bed, staring at? Not having to fend off rad scorpions every time Look I get this up guy. to take a piss. I need something besides that's your dog chow. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Boys, let me tell you something. I mean, yeah, sleep and food are definitely good. But I got myself a pretty girl back at home. I've been looking forward to this for a real long time. You know, I I think when I get back, I'm going to ask that girl to marry me. I even bought this here ring for her. So, you know, might as well go for it, know what I mean? All right, yeah. no, man. Taking the plunge. Holy shit. That must have cost you a year of salary. Nomad, nomad. You're trading one conscription for another, man. Now, me, let me tell you. Too many pretty faces out there for me to just pick one. Hey, Greg. Can you do me a favor? What is it? If something happens to me, could you send this ring to my girl? The address is on my wheel here. I don't trust any of these things to do it. We're going to see her again. Don't worry. Yeah, but just give me a word, Gray. <sighs> if it will ease your mind, pal, you got it. But after this battle, you owe me a beer. Fair enough. General, sir. Oh no. I was trying to stand up. At ease, gentlemen. Tonight, the Republic will get another victory to celebrate, and you'll all be sent home to your families. Our objective is to seize control of Helios 1 and to capture that bastard Elijah alive. Let me repeat myself we need him alive. But before we get to it, know this. I would not have traded you for any other company. The last five years may have been tough, but together we have brought the Brotherhood of Steel to its knees. As always, I will fight alongside you. We fight together, we die together, and we will win together. This is it, men. Prepare yourselves for combat. Wait for it. Now. Here it comes. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. My lord. Oh my god, this is insane. Got a guy right there. Hit that guy. Alright. I don't think I can die here, so we're just gonna eat these bullets and try to get this XP. Maybe the more XP we get, the better. Nice! Defeat the Brotherhood of Steel, enter Helios 1. Alright, let's go down. That Paladin Waver guy is about dead. Another one right there behind that sandbag, I just can't get her. Okay. Oh, bro, I'm sorry. NCR two trooper. We can search these guys. Uh, I'm good on all that one. I dang it, wrong button. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside Helios one here. There's a lot of stuff we can pick up. But I'm not sure if it's even worth it because I don't think we're actually in it. I think this is more of a flashback story type thing. So. Okay. Can't move, so... I think 
this, the the uh, audio is a little messed up. Let's do voices up to this, and we'll do effects down a little bit. Gray, the breach team has the interior covered. Get back out there and secure that door. All right, we're gonna go back out. End of the Helios one. Go back outside to secure the door. Okay. We got some fire over here. I don't really know if that's supposed to happen. It looks like a glitch. Okay. We have to go over here talk to these guys. Gray, there is no easy way to say this. The NCR hospitals and their staff are currently overwhelmed. If they are too injured, you need to put them down. Wait, what? You can't be serious. We have too many injured. We don't have the resources to take care of them all. If, if you find anyone beyond saving, you need to put them out of their misery. You can't just put them th down like wounded dog. These are men we're talking about. I don't like it either, but it's an order, soldier. We just don't have the men and supplies for all of the wounded. You are giving them a merciful death, if it makes the task any easier on your conscience. As for you, General Oliver has promised me this will be your last fight. After we clean up here, we're to report to Camp McCarran to receive you and your men's discharge papers. That's be something you can we can do besides killing our own men. Jesus Christ, our family. <sighs> Is there a problem? If you can't order your men to do it, then I will. Do you understand? <coughs> Remember, your boys are going home after this. Get it done, Gray. And discreetly. Yes, sir. <sighs> Look out. Okay, kill the very severely wounded soldiers. Oh my god. Damn, dude. This is dark. This isn't necessarily discreet, though, is it? This is more of a... This is happening. Type thing. I don't see that I got fine anymore moving around. Hey, okay. one there. Don't see any more. Okay, kill Nomad. Oh my goodness. We did it, Gray. <coughs> I made it. Those bastards got me good. They go Damn, dude. Batch me up now, right? Nah, bro. War's over. <laughs> I finally can go home. You can't, my guy. Oh, this freaking this this mod is insane! You cannot unequip this item. I, what am I trying to unequip? I don't know what the hell that freaking fire thing over there is, but it's annoying me. Okay. Dang. Now, from what I read, this mod is, like, really good. Like, the story is good, the side quests are good. 
a lot of new equipment and, and items we can pick up and bring into the Mojave. So I'm excited to see where this goes, man. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys at the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, do the stuff, man. Because uh, we're doing a full playthrough of this and probably a full playthrough of the Fallout New Vegas campaign. Um, so buckle up, buttercup, because we doing it. I wish there was music or something here. There probably is. I think I, uh, hold on. Do music. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I took it off, but I'm hoping they didn't add any copyrighted music in this. I guess we'll find out soon. So if I get copyrighted claim, I might let you guys know that I, I took music off, but... First episode, we'll see where we are with it and go from there. Hopefully, they uh, they took the non-copyright. I'm sure they did because I think if you pay, I think you have to pay for it to use it in your games sure and stuff. So, absolutely, sir. There is nothing back for me at home. You don't even like the NCR. <laughs> well, I figured I'll probably learn more under you than herding cattle back up north. Don't worry, I've made up my mind. Besides, sir, who's going to watch your back? I'm glad you decided to stick around longer. I hope you'll see the NCR isn't all that bad. Hey, you wanna head- <sighs> This better not be another false alarm. I think something is really going on. Hey, Sergeant! What's going on? General, sir. What's all this about? We have received reports that the Legion is fading east of the Colorado. Put Herodash has already been lost. What? No, not already. The Legion? Aren't they just some primitive tribals? The fact that we've got some is incredible to me. Come with me. Elias? Is that you? Damn good timing. I need you and your men to reinforce Hoover Dam. We've gotten reports that. With all due respect, Lee. I'm not here for that. I'm here for my men's discharge papers. Discharge papers? Ah, yes. You're in charge of the conscripts. They're soldiers, not conscripts. They fought and died for a cause not of their own. It's time we let them go. You promised them at the conclusion of the Brotherhood of Steel War, they would have earned their freedom. Once I give them their discharge papers, I can lead another detachment to Hoover Dam. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm sure you've heard by now. The Legion is trying to push their way into the Mojave. We need every damn soldier we can get to defend Hoover Dam. Listen here! These men were promised that they would be free. I gave them my word. You gave them your word. How can I look them in the face and promise them death instead of freedom? How the hell can I do that, Lee? We've got to let them go! I understand how you feel, but we need those men, Elias. You have others, Lee! Contact the goddamn hub if you have to! I shouldn't have to tell you that our presence in the Mojave is on the brink of collapse. We lost too much with the war and the Brotherhood. I need your men to immediately reinforce Hoover Dam. That's an order. I'm Damn. through taking orders from you, Lee. I'll take this up with Kimball. This is Kimball's orders. I've only been relaying it to you. I'm sorry, Elias, but you should be proud. Who would have thought a bunch of ragtag group of conscripts would become such an effective fighting force? You did a damn good job with them. They should be going home, not off to another goddamn war. They've sacrificed enough. I understand, but we all have our duties. You can't just abandon them. Where do you think you're going, Blackthorn? We're not finished here! If you walk out on us now, it will be desertion! Uh-oh. And he don't give a damn, dog. He what doing what he wants. Do Get the men together. For Hoover Dam, sir. No. I'm leaving this Republic. Let them fight their own battles. Ooh-wee! down for desertion. That's why I need to go somewhere far. Far enough that the NCR wouldn't risk coming after me. What about the rest of the men? Are you going to take them along with you? They can come if they so choose. I'm not going to force anyone to join me in my desertion. This is something I believe I must do. You can always count on me to follow your lead, sir. But where exactly are you planning on going? I know of a place far up north. A 
very cold and unforgiving place, but mostly untouched by scavengers. It would be an ideal place for us to carve out a frontier for ourselves. I can only hope that this will become the driving force that will one day return to the Republic and set things right. Jeez. Oh, that was a story. That's crazy, man. This is great. I love it so far. I don't like how that's a thing. And you? I heard you're the courier. Have I heard correctly? Yeah, that's me. Interesting. You'll be reporting to Camp Phoenix. I hope you're the legend they say you are, courier. Wow. Dude, the voice acting in this game is even good. Or in this uh, mod. Fallout New Vegas The Frontier. The title screen right there. I'm stoked, man. I really am. Northern Legion is a slow religious Mojave counterpart, but suffers from a lack of discipline thanks to lower recruitment standards. Chapter 1. That was an intro. I think we'll cut it right there for uh, the first episode. Kind of get you guys acquainted with this. John St. Walker signal found. Why is everybody all weird looking? It is a mod. There it goes. Well, well, wait for it. Something's messed up a little bit, but that's okay. It is what it is. There it goes. Again, this is not professionally made. I mean, that's way better than what most people could do, I'm sure, but this is not made by Bethesda, so expect some bugs. But as long as it works, I'm cool with it. I had to hang and wait for the further orders. Okay. There's a vertebrate here. All right, we gotta go this way. I'm assuming I gotta go this way. Damn, dude. Can we get in that tank? I don't know. I do know there's a uh, vehicle warfare, so I'm excited to get a car. That'd be, that'd be kind of fun. A little bit too early for that, so we'll keep it moving here. I'm assuming I'd be getting pretty close. Where we? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. The door to NCR maintenance hangar A. Little buggy, little framey. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this guy real quick. You wouldn't happen to be the courier of the Mojave. For the fourth time, I I am. Huh, I thought so. Cough up, hotshot. Cough you up. You look like much. You seem a little eh, short for the legendary courier of the Mojave. It don't matter, hotshot. The courier is the courier. What was it? You were betting two hundred. Shit. This ain't fair. You were the one who made the bet. Plus, you pay me first. I won't tell Mouse about this. You already owe him money. There is no way this is the courier, man. I'm telling you. I have these special senses. I can feel it in me. No way in hell is this the courier. Hey, I'm Hardcase, leader of Wolfpack. This asshole here is Hotshot. Please meet you on the courier. I'm telling you, this is the courier. That ain't the courier. Mind telling me why the hell you signed up for a tour here? Hmm. I thought of the Mojave looking for a new adventure. Well, F it. honestly, 
I'm not sure this is the type of adventure you want. The frontier is an unforgiving place. I see enough here to make most people crazy. <laughs> Ignore me. You already have been through a lot more than these troopers here. How many came back alive after being shot in the head? If anyone is going to make it out of here alive, it's you, courier. <clears throat> this dude is doggone crazy. Well, my poor misguided friend here doesn't seem to believe you are the courier. I say you beat his high score in the shooting course to make him believe that you are the courier. Okay. A hundred bottle caps on this asshole not beating my score. I'm in a decent shot, but I can show you some warm up. Hey, Hotcha, I get to see your your score fucked. <laughs> you a cocky little bastard, ain't you? 500 bottle caps, you won't beat my score. Let's do it. Deal. You're on. Can't wait to see you fail miserably. Ha! I'll bet 50 caps this punk can't beat my score. No, scratch that. Make it 100. You don't even have a bottle cap on you. Hey, why don't you meet us at the shooting course? Maybe you can teach Hotshot to put his money where his mouth is. Okay. All right, head of the hangar. Meet Hard Case in the shooting course. You got it. I'm here. I'm just gonna follow you guys. Hmm. This freaking so far is really good. We'll do this really quick, and we'll call us an episode. Gotta get these caps on us. Oh, ho hopefully, hopefully, we can come out with uh, a pretty decent amount after this mod. <clears throat> I really like to maybe try to get as much stuff accumulated, money-wise, and everything else. Is this not where we gotta go? Why'd you go here then? I'm so confused. Where are you, where are you guys going? That's not the place. They were shooting things there. I'm right behind you. If, if I stop moving, are they gonna stop moving? No, absolutely not. They're on their. They're on a mission. Do a quick little save. Where are you guys going? We gotta be getting close, right? I thought that there was it, because they were definitely shooting there. So I'm hoping it's right up here somewhere. Dude, there's like so many like little mods like this that are pretty in depth, so I'm excited to see where this goes. Okay. Salvate fratres. Non estes in amicos. What? Legate Valerius has yet to be informed of your arrival. Help the NCR until he is ready to see you. Calidus <clears throat> will be in touch. <clears throat> okay. Door to shooting course. All right. This is like for this is like Call of Duty, bro. All kinds of stuff here. A rebound. Take all of it. F it. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick save just in case we do mess up. Okay, who am I talking to? Hard case. There you are. When you are ready to start the course, place the explosive charge on the door. We'll be observing up top. Any questions before you begin? What in core? What exactly is shooting course involved? In you ball? will be moving from room to room, neutralizing any enemies that pop out. You receive points for each target you hit, and bonus for headshots, but lose points for shooting good guys. Okay. You'll also have to dodge flying projectiles, pressure plates, and fake grenades. This is timed, and you will receive a final score at the end of the course. Any further question? All right, let's do it. Good luck. Okay, so I need to get a gun then, right? 
Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this really quick. This is this is this is it right here. Ah, dang, man. Pressure plates. All right. I don't know if I don't I don't have a gun, so Where do I get a gun at? see here data meet hardcore in the shooting course yeah this is this is definitely where I gotta be at oh, bottle caps you guys are winning bottle caps kind of laying around here so don't mind if I do mm, nothing in there activate pit boy swap terminal equip Hit boy 2000. Okay. Well, I guess we have a new pit boy now. 3000. Interesting. Go back to the other one. Let's freaking let's do the damn thing, shall we? F it. Now, if I were to go and do this, that's all on the left hand side. Okay. All right. Again, I don't have any. I don't have a gun, so freak you show. You need to get away. The hunger—it's too strong. Must have flesh. Okay. Don't react. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look on your face. <laughs> you must have actually thought I was going to eat you. I was really going to shoot you. Please, I know you were faking the entire sure time. Sure you did. Anyway, I'm Freak Show. What do you need? I need a gun, my guy. Our goal is treated by the NCRXL. How did Ghoul join the NCRXLs? How can you tell me about Blackthorn? What do you work for? Talk to you later, Freak Show. Alright, I guess we can just start. I mean... I don't really have anything else to... Uh, okay. Hot shot. 3232. Or would you like to skip the shooting course? Well... Can see you are a promising soldier. I think you will be fine. Skipped it. Wow, this is so insulting. You actually thought this dude was gonna beat my score? This is the legendary courier we've been hearing so much about? Fuck. The NCR is so fucked. Once <laughs> this is hard, Case. Yes. Roger that. Yes, sir. I just got word that you've been assigned to Corporal Henderson's squad. They want you to report to the command hangar immediately. You better hustle up. You will be briefed on the current situation here. I'll see you around. Good luck out there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See you later, asshole. <laughs> All right, guys. This is going to be episode number one of the Fallout Frontier mod. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys did the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe. And show your friends. Always guys, I'm Mr. Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys the next episode of The Frontier. Um, in the next episode, if you guys do want to see this entire course here, I can go ahead and do it, but we are getting close to an hour, and I want to try to get this up as fast as I can, so I went ahead and skipped it. They did give me an option. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me know in the comments how you guys think about this game, or um, if you guys want to see anything special, etc., etc., uh, and if you guys want to see any specific games on the channel, I'll put it to my list and we'll start running through shit fairly quickly. Um, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye.